hello students in this lecture we will see a problem based on second degree parabola by using the method of least square cells a problem is fit a parabola y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square for the data x values 0 1 2 3 4 y value is 1, 1 1.8, 1.3, 2.5, 2.3 solution. So already they have given the second degree parabola that is y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square they have given so for this equation number one we'll prepare a normal equation first year the normal equation is the normal equation is summation y a is a constant so n into a plus b into summation x c into summation x square then multiply x to the both the side so x summation x y a into summation x b into summation of x square plus c into summation of x cube once again you multiply in the previous with x so x square y a into summation x square plus b into summation x cube c into summation of x raised to 4 this is equation number 2 so once we get this so we need a respective ta uh, table that is column so summation y we needed summation x summation x square summation x square x y summation x cube summation x square y and summation x raised to 4 we need it so we'll prepare a table for this so x column we need it y then x y x square y x square x cube and x raised to 4 and we need to get summation of x summation of y summation of x y summation of x square y summation of x square summation of x cube summation of x raised to 4 so here x values are 0 1 2 3 and 4 y values are 1 1.8 1.3 2.5 2.5 2.3 then x y 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 1.8 is 1.8 then 2.6 then 7.5 9.2 if you add this so summation of x y will be 21.1 if you take a summation of x it will be 10 if you add y values it will be 8.9 similarly we need to work out for x square y so you can take a calculator and you can work out for x square first you have to square the value of x then multiply by y so better use the calculator for this so we'll get the value as 0 1.8 5.2 4.5 and 36.8 so x square then we need to multiply y so we'll get this so 1 square into 1.8 we'll get 1.8 2 square is 4 into 1.3 we'll get 5.2 so 3 square that is 9 into 2.5 we'll get 22.5 4 square into 2.3 we'll get 36.8 so summation of this x square y will be 66.3 then we have to square x, x square x is 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 
and summation of this will be 30. Next x cube it is 0 cube is 1, 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64 and if you add this so it will be 100. Next x raised to 4 so x raised to 4 is 0, 1 raised to 4 is 1, 2 raised to 4 is 16, 3 raised to 4 is 81, 4 raised to 4 is 256 and the uh, sum of this will be or summation of this will be 354. So if you count the data 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so n value will be n value will be 5. So this table value will apply in equation number 2 and we will get the equation as so this value I have recollected then equation 2 becomes here so summation y summation y is if you go equation 2 and check summation y so summation y is 8.9 is equal to n into a n value is 5 into a plus b into summation x so summation x value is 10 10 b plus c into summation of x square that is 30 into c next equation summation x, x into y that is 21.1 equal to a into summation x so that is 10 into a plus b into summation of x square that is 30 into b plus c into summation of x cube that is 100 c third equation summation x square y that is 66.3 is equal to a into summation of x square that is 30 a plus b into summation of x cube Uh, x cube it will be x cube is 100 into b plus c into summation of x raised to 4 it will be 354 c or on rearrangement 5a plus 10b plus 30c equal to 8.9 then second equation will be 10a plus 30b plus 100c is equal to 21.1 then 30a plus 100b plus 354c is equal to 66.3 so these equations we got it then we will uh, apply in the calculator these values by choosing Okay, equation 5 then option 2 then apply the values here so 5 10 then 30 then the D value is 8.9 next 10 30 100 21.1 next third equation 30 100 354 66.3 so the a value we got 377 upon 350 SD you will get as a value as a value as 1.0771 once again you press equal to sign b value will get so b value will be 0. 4157 once again you press c value will be minus 0 0.0214 okay so once we get so we'll keep this up to four decimal place only okay or else you can round up also no problem so therefore the equation one becomes 
I'll rewrite the equation number one once again because it is y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square that is y is equal to a is 1.0771 plus b value is 0 0.4157 into x plus c value is it is minus sign minus 0 0.0214 into x square so it is the required So in this way we need to simplify and we need to get the values of A, B, C and those values we need to apply in the given second order parabola.